Over 7 billion people live on this earth. Of those 7 billion, just over 700 million live on the world's islands. That's around 11% of our population. Yet a number of the islands on the face of our globe are near impossible to quantify. Estimates put them in the hundreds of thousands, with more forming yearly. Only 200 of these islands have more than 100,000 people living on them. A few hundred more are populated, but the total number of deserted island numbers are in the thousands. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three of the most mysterious and unusual islands of Earth. The Real Life Stranger Things With more than 64 million Netflix viewers, Stranger Things is a global phenomenon. Set in the 1980s Indiana, the show tells a tale of shady scientific research, supernatural happenings, and a group of teenagers, one of them with mysterious powers. Although it seems too strange to be true, a small town legend claims that the strange happenings of the show may be based in fact on the town, Montauk, on Long Island. Since the 1980s, townspeople have heard rumours of suspicious goings-on at the local Air Force base, Camp Hero. The base itself was decommissioned by the military after World War II, and the land is a public park today. However, the area remained underdeveloped for most of the 20th century, making it potentially the perfect location for human experimentation, the Montuark Project. To understand what may have happened here, we have to go back in time, to October 28, 1943. Around that date, sources claim the US Navy used a new technology based on unified field theory to render a naval destroyer, the USS Eldridge, completely and totally invisible. Believers say the ship also travelled to another dimension, or back in time. According to these believers, the research was never continued because the ship's transit negatively affected the people on it. However, some Long Islanders claim the use of this secret technology continued at Camp Hero, the decommissioned military base. In 1992, local resident Preston Nichols produced a book claiming that he had participated in unethical experiments in the 1970s and 80s. According to Nichols, Camp Hero was utilised as an extension of the research begun by the Navy. Nichols and his supporters claim that the experimentation at the base focused on psychic abilities, time travel, and meditation. The experiments included using a chair to amplify psychic powers, and another called the seeing eye, which enabled the psychic to hold a piece of hair or other item and focus on living in that person's body. Furthermore, Nichols' book indicates that a portal or time tunnel was created at Camp Hero, enabling a destructive alien force to enter the complex in 1984. Because of this, the research was immediately shut down. All of this sounds eerily similar to the universe created in Stranger Things, as a matter of fact, before the series was picked up by Netflix, its working title was the name of the small town. The show's creators, Matt and Ross Duffer, were interested in the history of Camp Hero, and many have wanted to shine a light on this piece of local legend. Sources even indicate they privately referred to the series as Montuac up until its release. Predictably, the US military denies that the experiments at Camp Hero happened, and the ones on USS Eldridge. Yet the theory has a strong community of followers in the town and online. We may truly never know what happened, but today you can visit the island where the military base once stood and see for yourself if any paranormal activity remains. The Island of No Returns The next island we'll be talking about doesn't exist. At least it doesn't today, although that hasn't always been the case. Barsa Kelms was formerly the largest island in the Aral Sea, until changes in the sea level in the mid-1990s caused it to become a peninsula. It's now joined to Kazakhstan by a narrow strip of land, but area residents still call it an island and it remains uninhabited. There are many rumours about the former island. Local people tell stories of visitors who stepped foot on its land for a day, and upon their return found that decades had passed. 
They say that those who spend a night on the island have been known to turn blue or grey. The waters surrounding the island seem to contain prehistoric beasts and sea monsters. There may have been a Soviet military base on the island, but those who saw it claimed the base vanished when they tried to return. A local man was abandoned there by his family to die, but he was visited by a UFO, which told him someday humans would travel to outer space. Even the name of the island is unusual. In the Turkish language, Barsa Kelms means, who goes there will not return. Many of the rumours can be traced back to one man. This is Sergei Lukyaneko, a local resident who spoke to a popular science magazine in the 1990s. He and a friend from a local fantasy club decided to make up a story based on an old newspaper clipping, which itself they considered a local hoax. After the magazine ran the story, they revealed their prank and considered it a job well done. However, he didn't make up these rumours, nor did the journalist who originally wrote the newspaper. In fact, there's no concrete way of knowing where all the stories about Barsa Kelms came from. Like so many urban legends, the spooky tale of this uninhabited island may just have its basis in fact. The Deadliest Place on Earth The Golden Lancehead Pit Viper. In a way, it sounds almost beautiful. 70 to 90 centimetres long at adulthood, this unique snake has a yellow colour pattern overlaid with stunning geometric blotches. Its head is long and comes to a point at the nose. Its narrow tail helps it to navigate smoothly through trees. When it travels, it's almost silent, giving the lance head prey no way of surviving against this predator. Its venom is fast acting, eating away at the flesh of its unsuspecting prey before the snake swallows it whole. Golden lance head venom is five times as potent as other related snakes. Unchecked, it can cause swelling, pain, bruising, hemorrhage, and severe necrosis. If a human's bitten by the snake and doesn't get treatment within the hour, he or she has a significant chance of dying. Luckily for most of us, we have an extremely low probability of encountering this snake. This is because it only lives on a small island called Ilha de Queimada Grande, also known as Snake Island. Located 33 kilometres off of the coast of Brazil, Snake Island is uninhabited by humans, but it's certainly not empty. It's the only place in the world where these critically endangered golden lancehead vipers live. Subsisting largely on birds, they rely on their fast-acting venom to incapacitate their prey before it can fly away. There are many ideas about how Snake Island came to be so unique, but the prevailing belief is that it was once part of the mainland. Volatile and rising sea levels cut off the land, and the snakes that were on the island became trapped there, with only birds to hunt. Evolutionary pressure meant only the strongest snakes could survive, and over time they adapted perfectly, becoming extremely adept and quickly catching and killing whatever food they could. Although they primarily eat birds, golden lanceheads are opportunistic predators. Locals in the nearby coastal towns tell a story of a fisherman who was unfamiliar with the area and took shelter on the island. He was bitten and returned to his boat, presumably to seek medical attention. He died somewhere at sea and his boat was eventually found, with him lying inside in a huge pool of blood. Another local tale may also be based on truth, as parts of it can be verified by historic record. For a short period of time in the early 1900s, Snake Island was populated by a few unlucky residents. A lighthouse was built in 1909 and for 10 years it was manually operated. Lighthouse keepers and their families took up residence on the snake infected islands. There are two theories as to why the lighthouse keepers left. The answer favoured by Brazilian authorities is simple. When the lighthouse was automated, there was no need for residents. But according to a local legend, the lighthouse keeper met a much worse fate. One night, a handful of snakes entered through an open window. Smelling an opportunity, they attacked the three children, and then went for the keeper and his wife. The family tried their best to flee, 
but as they ran to their boat on the shore, they were bitten by snakes on the branches overhead. They quickly succumbed to the venom, and their bodies were destroyed by the lance heads. Whatever the case, the lighthouse is automated today, and the Brazilian Navy severely limits visits to the island. If someone does visit, they're required to have a doctor in their party. The belief seems to be that it's best to simply leave the snakes alone. Any person who wishes to keep their flesh probably agrees. It may seem like science has discovered all there is to discover, but stories like these make it clear. Our planet still holds mysteries. For each of the thousands of unoccupied islands we're aware of, there are thousands more that are undiscovered. Thanks to Earth's volcanic crust, more are forming every day. We can only guess at the mysteries that these islands hold, and hope that one day they'll be uncovered. So what do you make of these mysterious islands and the legends behind them? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.